Hello everyone, uh, this again is Pierce Calloway. I'm a personal trainer and public speaker, guys, where my job honestly is just to preach the Word of God, travel, and share it with others. Guys, if you like any of these videos, share them and subscribe, please, so that you get all the videos and that other people are hearing these also. Guys, my number one goal and only goal is to share Jesus Christ and help others with a daily relationship with Jesus Christ personally. That is all I care to do. I'm not doing this for money. I'm not doing this for popularity. I'm not get doing this for a greater platform. I am doing this just for Jesus Christ because it is my job, according to his word, to just preach and spread the gospel. Guys, that is all I want to do. That's all I want you to benefit from is Jesus Christ and not me. The word I'm going to bring to you today, guys, is found in Matthew 11, 15, and many other places. I want you to listen to the phrase, He who has ears to hear, let him hear. Now, logically, guys, all of us, all of us has, have ears to hear. That's not what it's saying. All of humanity has a pair of ears to listen and to hear with. The Word of God, whenever Jesus says, He who has ears, let him hear. That means right now, people, pay attention, please. I'm drawing attention to these words so that individuals who hear and see what I have to say are going to try to seek understanding and live by these words. So every time you see in Scripture, people, every time you see in the Word of God, he who has ears, let him hear, it's Jesus drawing your attention and asking for you to take special caution, and do what he is saying. Listen to him. Hear what he is saying and obey. Seek understanding, guys. We are not just to, just to let his words, the entire Bible, what is breathed directly from Jesus Christ into our lives. Guys, we are to be hearers and doers of his word. Again, for those that have ears, let them hear and do what Jesus Christ wants them to do. Guys, please, again, understand if you hear the word of God, if you see the word of God, do what it says, pure and simple. Guys, and also please share your prayer requests with me on Twitter, share them with me on Facebook, share them with me on LinkedIn, share them with me on Instagram, guys. I will gladly pray for you and want you to pray for me in return. Okay? So, guys, again, I hope that. I hope that brought some difference to your life right there. Whenever I bring you the Word of God, I hope, I hope and pray you take it and it changes your life, okay? So guys, for the second part of the video, I want to show you an exercise that I love doing and just have recently adopted into my own exercise regimen. They are called, guys, side plank walks, and I'm just going to show you how you do them. So from a side plank which is just here with my hip as high as I can, I'm just going to start walking. Just going to start walking, guys. And I can come back the other way. But stay up in the plank all you can, guys. So again, just because I'm running out of room, it's just this. And you can come back 
the other way if you need to, if you run out of room. All I'm doing is walking in the side plank, guys. That's all I'm doing. This is going to be fabulous right now for all of this and all of this, guys. Great for lower back issues. And this will extremely help push in your obliques. Guys, please let me know if this was a difficult exercise for you and help me help you. Give me comments. Give me messages. Give me your prayer requests. I hope to talk to you again soon, guys. And again, let's just all share Jesus Christ with each other. Because, guys, he's the only gift that, that will truly bless someone else's life. Thank you, guys, for your time. Goodbye.